In this video lesson, I'm going to talk about probability and lottery odds. Not long ago, I came across a newspaper article and it read, the lottery is our best hope, say 3 in 10. That means that 30% of the people think the lottery is their best hope. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate the odds of winning the lottery using two different methods. The first method is using combinations, or combination theory, I guess, of the equations. And don't be frightened away by all the numbers and the equations. I'm going to walk you through it, step by step. And the second method, I'm going to use probability theory, which is the classic way. So, and again, don't freak out. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Depending on the lottery, there's a different number of balls that they choose. And in this example, I'm going to use 49 different balls. And I will pick six different numbers. There are a lot of different combinations picking six numbers at random from 49 different balls. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to count up or figure up how many different combinations. So that's the first thing, how many different combinations. And we know that the numbers we picked initially, that's just one combination. So if we know we have one combination out of how many total possible combinations. These represent one combination and the order of the numbers do not make a difference. I'm going to calculate how many different combinations. So the first thing I know is n is equal to 49. That's the total number of balls. And small case n, or green n, is equal to 6. That's how many I'm going to pick at one time. Number of balls picked. So this is my standard equation. I'm going to just plug and chug. So I take 49 factorial divided by 6, the green 6 factorial and then I take 49 again 49 minus let me squeeze through there 49 minus 6 close the parentheses and a factorial sign and this simplifies to uh, 49 factorial divided by 6 factorial I'll bring that over and I have 49 minus 6, which is 43. I bring down the factorial sign. And I multiply that times the 6 factorial. Now I could pound this out in the calculator, but I'm going to simplify it first. You don't have to, but I'm going to show you how to simplify it. So this all equals 49. Let me make my division line long there. 49 times 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44 times 43 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 43 factorial. The 43 factorials cancel. Now if I multiply out the numerator I get 10 billion and something divided by divided by 6 factorial or 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 equal to 10 billion divided by 720 and this is equal to 13 million nine hundred and eighty three thousand eight hundred and sixteen that's the total number of combinations I can have with 49 balls, picking six at a time. So my total combinations is 13 million something. And I started out with one combination. So the chances of getting this one combination is one out of 13 million 983,816. Now I'm going to use standard probability theory. This is exactly the same as the permutations I did with marbles without replacement. 
So what's the probability of picking a green ball? It's total picked out of total numbers. And in this case, it's 6 out of 49. So I pick one of the numbers, one of the, the green ones. Now I have the probability of picking the next number is the total picked divided by total numbers. And this is the what's the total pick that's left over. And it's going to be 5. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers left over. And so I'm going to move that 5. That's where that 5 comes from. Out of 48. So there's 48 numbers left over too. So if I added up all those numbers, there's 48 total. So it's 5 out of 48. And I'll bring that over there, right there. Now I have the same equation again. I have total picked, total left picked out of total numbers. And I have 4 left over, right? So I have 4 out of 47. Let me bring that ball over. I have, again, the same thing over and over again. I hope you get the hang of it. Now I have three balls left, three green balls left. So it's three out of 46. Bring that over. Now I have two out of 45. I'm going to get there. So I have two out of 45. I have two balls left and out of 45 total balls. Let me bring that one over. So this isn't, this isn't so bad. And now finally I have the last total picked out of total numbers. I have one ball left out of 44 possibilities. Now let me bring that ball over. Now let me take all these numbers, all these fractions right there, and let's multiply them all together. I'll multiply them all times each other. And the numerator, surprisingly, is equal to 720. And the denominator is equal to that 10 billion number we came up with before. And this is equal to 1 out of 13 billion nine hundred eighty three thousand eight hundred and sixteen so it calculates the same as the previous example and I do like it when a plan comes together and everything works out so share the knowledge share the love Facebook Google Plus Twitter questions and comments below and don't forget to subscribe because I'm always posting new things